guys welcome back to my channel today I have a fun haul to share with you guys actually this month we had actually planned to go to a dirty dancing retreat if you don't know what dirty dancing is dirty dancing is a movie from the 80s that starred Jennifer Grey and Patrick Swayze so the actual event that we were going to you're supposed to dress up as themed uh, characters from the movie so I did purchase a lot of items to actually dress up as Jennifer Grey or Baby as you might know her from the TV show or not TV show but the movie. So I have a lot of items I want to share with you guys just in case you guys are doing something like this this summer if you're going to a dirty dancing event. They did postpone the event so the, the event has been postponed to further into the summer I think it's actually closer to the fall that it's been postponed to. But these are some ideas that if you're interested in trying out to get some items to go to a dirty dancing event, I thought that would be fun to share with you. So maybe if you want to try to keep your eye out for them. So as I show you the items, I will actually try to show you pictures as well of the items as to why I picked these items because there are certain themes and different things that, that do go in the movie that kind of will represent the reasons why I picked them. So hopefully that makes sense. So let me open up my big box here. <clears throat> The first thing I picked out is a crinoline skirt. So as you guys know that, you know, in the Dirty Dancing movie, she does actually wear lots of dresses. And one of the items that were required to actually play the part is the crinoline underneath of the dress from the last scene. Hers isn't super poofy, so I'm hoping this one is not going to be super poofy. I have not tried any of these products on yet. So hopefully they all fit. Almost all of these items were purchased from Amazon with exception of a, of a couple that I'll tell you guys about. So this is what the skirt looks like, the little tool skirt or the underskirt. So this is by the brand <clears throat> Pack, P-A-Q-U-E. I have it in the size medium. So I'm hoping it will go underneath the dress, which the dress is a little bit off of the shade of what I wanted as well. So, which gives me time to fix that. So no big deal. So that is the first item. The next thing I picked up is from Keds. So as you guys may or may not know, but the movie itself, she is wearing a certain pair of shoes during almost the whole movie that are definitely very representative of these shoes right here. So these I purchased from, I think these came from Amazon as well. So these are just the white traditional Keds that she, wear, she wore on the actual movie, but these do not have laces. So I would prefer that anyway, because the laces will get nasty and dirty. So these are the Ked shoes that she wore during the movie. They do have the little Ked's logo on the back. So these are super cute. They look really big, but it's because I do have a big foot. I have a size 10 foot, so I'm hoping they will match really well with the actual decor, not decor, but the theme of the outfits. The next thing I picked up is this shirt right here. This is by the brand um, Dobluli. I have no idea. D-O-U b l j u i got it in the size extra large just because i saw that it was like more slim fit so if you got your normal size it would fit very tight fitting and i did not want it to be tight fitting because her scene that she wears this kind of shirt in is very loose fitting on her so this is the only one that i could find that was there very similar to the color scheme that she actually wore in the movie so this is like white pink and it's not really pink it's like purple and blue so it does kind of match the theme from the movie so I'm hoping it will work well we'll have to see I don't know how well it's going to work but I'm gonna wear it anyway regardless if it works or not it's going to be my representation of the scene from the movie and like I said I will show you guys some little clips or pictures from the movie so there you can kind of tell why would she pick this shirt like what does this have to do with dirty dancing you'll see the next thing I picked up is a pair of shoes. So these are really, really nice. So I actually looked for shoes that were very similar to the ones that she wore during the last scene of the movie. So these are very, very similar. Hers didn't have quite as much rhinestone like on it, but honestly, I'm okay with that. But they are like pink satin. These are really nice because these are actually ballroom shoes. So they do have a little bit of a like spin, not spin, but a they move a little bit so they're a little bit more flexible so when you put these on you can move really well in these I really like these shoes so besides the fact that they're gonna go with the theme of the dirty dancing retreat these are just really cute so I cannot wait to wear these I will try to link everything below that I purchased these actually came from Amazon as well it took a while to get these so if you're gonna order these and you have an event coming up I would definitely get them sooner rather than later because it take took about a month and a half to get those so they were a little slow but that's okay the next thing i picked up is i purchased these off of nordstrom so the traditional thing from dirty dancing is white jeans so i wanted a pair of white jeans that are going to be nice and um 
not see through. <laughs> so most white jeans, you can see through them and I don't want to be able to see through my jeans. These seem like they're going to work really well. This is by the brand Cut From The Cloth. I got the size six. So they do have a little bit of a cuff going on here. So you can cuff them or you can uncuff them. They do have pockets in the back. I don't think hers had pockets, but I'm not going to be that picky about it. So I think these are really nice. So I would definitely recommend getting a pair of good white jeans that were there. You don't have to worry about being able to see everything through those. The whites from this and this are not exactly alike, but they're going to be fine together. Again, I'll show you guys why I chose white jeans. And the next thing I picked up is this cute little wrap shirt. So I think it's a wrap. Yeah, it's a little wrap. It's a little white wrap shirt. So you just wear this and I'll show you what I want to pair with this. So this is going to go with a cute little skirt. So let me find the cute little skirt. Here is the cute little skirt. So there's one scene in the movie that she actually wears just a white, I think it's just a white t-shirt that she has like tied up around her chest. But I got one that's a wrap style because I thought it would probably look better on me. And then I picked up this tulle skirt right here. So this is a little bit longer and it's more of a peachy tone than it is a pinky tone. So this is going to go with this. So this is an outfit as well for the uh, theme for the uh, retreat. So I'm excited about trying this. I want to try it all on and show you guys, but I want to wait until it's closer to the date because I want to do pictures of everything. So hopefully when we do the actual event, I can get pictures for you guys. So you guys will have to stay on the lookout for maybe my Instagram to see if I post pictures, which is not going to be until the fall, unfortunately. Then the actual dress that I bought to wear the, uh, this underneath of is this right here. So you can tell the colors are definitely off. But I'm thinking once it's underneath of it, you're not going to be able to tell that much. I hope anyway. <laughs> so the dress is really, really cute. It definitely needs to be steamed because it's been sitting in the box for a little while. But here's the dress. It seems a bit see-through as well. So definitely want to wear something underneath of it. So the crinoline is going to be great. It does have these little straps at the top. And it's just a plain little dress. So it's like a, I think it's called an Alon dress. Is that what it's called? I don't even know. Either way, I got this because the last dance in the movie, this is similar to what she wore. And then I'm planning to get a little belt to put around the waist here because she has in the movie itself, you'll see there's some sort of little detail around her waist. So I'm hoping that I can find like a little belt or something to add detail to this area right here because I think that's gonna make it look even more appropriate. And then of course, we're going to wear these shoes with it. So these shoes with the dress, they don't look like they perfectly match, but they're gonna be fine. So I think it's going to be really cute. You guys will have to let me know if you guys have ever done a themed retreat because I'm super excited about it. The next thing I got is for the iconic scene of the movie and it's where she comes in and she's wearing a dress that's like striped. So it's a blue dress, blue and white dress and it's striped. So this is a longer... Okay, so the next thing I got is for the iconic scene of the movie. If you guys remember the part where she walks in and she says, I carried a watermelon. That is like one of my favorite parts of the movie. I don't know why, but it just is. So she wears a blue and white striped dress. This is not exact to what she had on, but I tried to find it as close as I possibly could. So this does have a little bit of a flutter sleeve here. It does have a button detail in the back. It's a little bit stretchy at the top here, which I like that. And then the bottom is a stripe going the different way, but it also has pockets. So who doesn't love a dress with pockets? Pockets are really cool. She has this on, which is a pair of flats on, but because she's wearing this cute dress and she comes in saying, I carried a watermelon, you know, I had to find something to represent that. So I found a purse that is a watermelon purse. This is so darn cute. So this actually zips open on both sides here. So you can put stuff into your little, actual little purse. And then I think the straps are in here, yeah. So it's a like side carry, what is that, crossbody? It's a crossbody purse. And it even has like the little leaf on it, like the watermelon wood. So this is just gonna be perfect for this scene right here because I mean, she has to have a watermelon, right? So <laughs> perfect. I cannot wait to use this outfit right here. This one is gonna be the one that I feel like I'm going to love to take pictures of. So I love that cute little purse. The next thing I picked is in the one scene of the movie where she's dancing up the steps, she has on a pair of cutoff shorts and she has on a bodysuit. But I think it's a bodysuit or it could be a tank top, I'm not sure. It looks like kind of like a bodysuit. But the bodysuit is more of a peachy color, so I did get a bodysuit. It looks kind of wide, but I'm thinking once I put it on, it's gonna be perfect. It is a size medium. It's by the brand Sunrow. So I don't really know that brand, I've never tried it before. But she does have a bodysuit on with a pair of cutoff shorts. So of course I had to find a bodysuit to wear with the cutoff shorts. So I thought that was really cute as well. And then the scene of where she is in the room, 
I think it's like the actual restaurant and she's talking to the guy named Robbie and she tells him to stay away from her and stay away from her sister. She's wearing a red and white shirt very similar to this one here so I had to get this because I would want to recreate that scene as well obviously so I had to get the shirt so all in all I think I have quite a few pieces to wear for the weekend retreat I have the red and white shirt I have the oh why by the way the red and white shirt is by the brand oh it doesn't have a name brand in here so I don't know who that is the purse is by it just doesn't have a name brand either so we have the watermelon purse the red striped shirt the peachy pink bodysuit, the blue and white striped dress that stripes go in different ways, horizontal and vertical, the dress for the end of the scene where Patrick Swayze actually does the lift for her, the scene where she's getting frustrated with helping out Johnny dancing and she's wearing the white shirt with the tulle skirt, and of course the iconic white pants that she wears pretty much during the entire movie <laughs> besides when she's wearing a dress. And then this shirt right here, which is one of the ones where she's like putting on her lipstick going up and down the steps. And then the tulle little skirt to go underneath of the dress to kind of give it a little bit more of a fluff. And then the shoes. So that is everything I picked up to go for my Dirty Dancing retreat. I would love to got, love to know if you guys have any more tips or things that maybe I should try to check, try to find before the retreat because... I don't mind adding more things to it because I think the more little pieces you can add to it, the better it's going to be in my opinion. It could be worse. I don't know. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know if you've ever been to a themed retreat like that. I would love to hear your thoughts and how did it go? Was it fun? Was it boring? Let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, I'll catch you guys later.